I'm Matt Cross and today I'm going to be cooking wood roasted harissa lamb shoulder in the Gosney Dome. I love this recipe, it's perfect for cooking in the dome, super simple and great when entertaining family and friends on a special occasion. First we need to set the dome up for low and slow cooking. We want to get a decent wood fire going and saturate the oven with lots of heat. While the dome is doing its thing, we can make the dry rub for the lamb. First, add two teaspoons of fennel seed and two teaspoons of cumin, one teaspoon of coriander to the cast iron pan and pop it in the dome. Toast them off to release the amazing aromas. Once they are nice and toasty, add to a pestle and mortar and grind them up. If you haven't got a pestle and mortar, you could use a spice grinder or coffee grinder. Once they're ground up, we can add two tablespoons of molded sea salt, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one tablespoon of rosemary, and one teaspoon of garlic powder. Grind these all together to a fine rub consistency and set aside for later. Time to prep the veg. You're going to need just over a kilo of vine tomatoes, halved or quartered, depending on the size of the tomatoes, and into a tray. Now take three red bell peppers sliced into chunky chunks. You don't need to be precise here, tray. Take two red onions, remove the skin and roughly chop. Again, you don't need to be precise here, tray. Two regular sized bulbs of garlic, cut in half and in the tray. Bosh. Finally, the start of the show, two bulbs of fennel, roughly chopped. Fennel is the best, I love it, but if you don't have it, don't use it. Tray. Time for the lamb. This is a beautiful shoulder of lamb. Use the best meat you can get hold of. Rub it all over with some oil, vegetables, sunflower, or any neutral tasting oil is perfect. Get right in there. Generously coat it all over with the rub that we made earlier. Don't be shy here, make sure that it's nice and evenly covered all over. Turn over the shoulder and repeat the process. Oil and another generous helping of the toasty herby rub. Spin it back over, admire your handiwork, take a photo for the Insta, place the lamb on top of the vegetables you lovingly cut one minute ago, add some herbs of your choice. We're using rosemary today because that's what we have to hand. Now it's time to pop in the dome and say goodbye for 10 minutes or so. The dome is now roughly 300 degrees Celsius, 575 degrees Fahrenheit. It seems like a really high temperature, but don't forget that the temperature is going to drop during the cook. Check on the lamb every now and then and give it a turn. We want to achieve a nice even tan all over. It's going to start looking charred in parts, which is what we want. It's all flavour. Door back on. Once the lamb has achieved a nice colour all over, bring it out and pop it on the counter. Now pour in one litre of stock. You could use chicken or vegetable stock. We're using lamb stock. Cover the tray with foil and return to the dome and cook until the meat starts to pull away from the bone. This will take around five hours. You need to check on this periodically, but not too often. Be patient. While the lamb is finishing in the dome, it's smelling amazing by the way, we can make the harissa glaze. For this, you will need two tablespoons of harissa paste, one tablespoon of runny honey, more or less, and the juice of two lemons. Add it all to the bowl, get every last drop, then remove any stray pips that fall in as no one wants to bite down one of those. Get the pips in the bin, then give it all a little mix with a brush or a spoon. A spoon might have been easier here, and you're all done. After about five hours or so, the lamb is looking and smelling amazing. The veg is beautifully roasted and full of incredible flavour. It's now time to glaze the lamb. Use a brush and give it a liberal coating all over. Not only does this add incredible flavour, but just look at the colour. Return the lamb to the oven for a few minutes until the glaze is set. Just look at this beauty. All done. Give it a final base with all those delicious juices and serve with whatever you like. Perhaps some garlic mash or cheesy polenta. It's up to you. This meat is just falling off the bone, just how we want it. So that's my wood roasted harissa lamb in the Gosney Dome. Just give it a try. Mmm, really nice. Mmm, it's good. For the full recipe, go to gosney.com. <laughs>